evening and welcome to TR Physics and today I'm going to talk about horizontal circles. Now horizontal circles are something that's quite unique um, and it, I'm just going to use it as basic circular motion. However I'm going to make a point about the fact that in real life, okay, so on earth they really can't exist and this is all to do with gravity. The fact that to move something with circular motion I must have a force going inwards to the centre of the circle. However, my the force that would cause my tension in this uh, center of the circle here it's actually moving perpendicular so it has no effect so in real life i really don't have a proper horizontal circle and you might be able to see it that even if i try it either goes above or below so on earth it's actually quite impossible to have a true horizontal circle i could have a theoretical one but to have a true one wouldn't happen so I'm actually going to talk today, I'm actually going to use an example about a spacecraft that is orbiting the Earth. And so this is Earth here, and this is a horizontal circle of a space, uh, spacecraft moving around the equator. Okay, I'm assuming everything is circular here. So this spacecraft is continuously being attracted to the Earth, and the force that it's being attracted to is its weight. Okay, so this object here is R is... 80 kilometers, because that's about the borderline of the atmosphere, M is 100 kilograms, and we're going to assume that the gravi gravitational field is field strength is still 9.81. I'm still going to assume that G is 9.81 meters per second squared, okay? So, I'm actually going to find here, I would like to try and find out what is its orbital velocity, what is the tangential velocity, okay? So I'm trying to find V, Okay. So the force that is causing this circular motion, this, this motion, that is the weight. It's the, basically the mass of the satellite being attracted to the mass of the Earth. So the force that is causing this is the weight. And, of course, weight is mg. So that is, in this case, 9.81 times by 100. So it's 981 newtons. And that is the force that is causing this... Um, circular motion and this is the only force therefore here this is the resultant force so this is the, the force that i'm going to use in my circular motion formula so i know that my circular motion formula is the resultant force f is mv squared over r or m omega squared r and these are both um oops not over r sorry omega squared r these are both on your data sheet so I'm actually going to, I'm trying to find the velocity, so I'm going to use this one here, mv squared over r. So the resultant force is 981, that's the resultant force here, is 100 times by v squared over 80 times 10 to the 3. Okay, so let's, uh, re let's actually put this in. So I've got 100 divided by 80 times 10 to the 3. Okay, and I'm going to, this divided by this, so 981 divided by that is 784800 equals V squared. And my velocity would be the square root of that, which is 885.9 meters per second. Which does seem fast, but it's not really fast at all. Not in the grand scheme of looking at space travel. Okay. So this object here, so I'll just make sure I've got that right. So 981 divided by 1.25 times 10 to the minus 3. And then square root that is 885 metres per second. So this is... a. Uh, the speed of this satellite that is going around in this theoretical horizontal circle. Now just a reminder, this can really be the only time a horizontal circle exists. Um, in real life, we theoretically can't, because what would cause the tension in the rope? But in an exam, they may ask you, they may ask this kind of question. Oops. Not bad, let's do this one. They may ask a rope has a tension of 40 newtons and a mass 
of one kilogram. What is the angular velocity of a rope of two meters long? So if I actually drew what's happening here, I have a force downwards of 9.81 mass times gravity. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, and I've been told here that I have a tension of 40 newtons. And it is moving in a horizontal circle. So this tension here is my resultant force into the centre of the circle. This weight has no effect. So, if I was to find the angular velocity omega, I'm going to use that formula there. So, 1 times omega squared times 2 is 40. So, 20 equals omega squared. So, omega is the square root of 20, which is 4.47 rads per second. Okay, so they can theoretically put attention in, okay, it may be something assimilating it, etc. But you naturally don't get these horizontal circle, cir uh, circles on Earth. You only get them, of course, if you're orbiting Earth, but the formula still stands. Okay, and that is horizontal circles.